Oh my god, so open source AI has been going absolutely insane lately and now out of nowhere from some small company of 15 people called Black Forest Labs comes a new AI image generation model, completely open source and it looks better than Stable Diffusion I must say. Apparently it has amazing text capabilities and way better prompt adherence than Stable Diffusion 3. Look how good this is. I mean these are cherry picked so we're gonna try for ourselves obviously. This is completely free, open source. Look at this. The realism is amazing. It can make pretty much perfect hands. So there are a few ways to use this because it's open source there are a lot of websites popping up where you can use this like flux1.org flux1.ai if you want to use it locally you can use it in comfy ui but if you're not into comfy ai i would highly suggest pinocchio they have a one-click flux web ui installer now which looks similar to something like focus very simple local install of this new amazing ai model for this video i'll be using it on foul.ai i'm not affiliated with them in any way although i wish i was but they have a huge library full of all these different things you can do with AI, all these different apps and models, upscalers and image generators and creative upscalers and we have Whisper there, we have Stable Diffusion, all types, Instant ID, everything here. So as you can see there are two versions of Flux, we have the Dev and the Schnell, Schnell means fast so it's obviously a much faster version. We're gonna go for the Dev version here, it's 12 billion parameters so it's a pretty big model. So to run this at any sort of good speed you're gonna need a pretty beefy GPU. But like I said you can use it for free, I'll leave the free links in the description as well as this one. So let's first see what happens if we give it a relatively simple prompt, photorealistic shot of a llama riding a skateboard, and then we'll add some more detail and see what it does. So I think landscape 4x3 is pretty good, let's keep it at that. Default inference steps is fine for now. Oh by the way this model is completely uncensored, however foul AI does have a safety checker that you can't disable in the playground. Alright let's hit run, see how good this image generator really is. And we instantly, that took like 2 seconds, literally 2 seconds. Here's our image, and I have to say, that is absolutely fantastic this is amazing a little bit more information there let's try that all right so i asked it to write subscribe in its eye it didn't quite get the letters right let's try again there we go second try got it perfectly let's have a look at that I think this is the most impressed I've ever been with an open source AI model since I don't know since when. This is truly superb. Here we go, here's a prompt from ChatGPT. Fantastic. Here we go, a majestic galactic goddess floating in the vastness of space. That's really, really impressive. Let's try a street in Amsterdam where I'm from. There we go. This looks amazing. Here we have a National Geographic photo of a cheetah wearing a red baseball cap. Isn't that just the best? Let's see how good this is with copyrighted logos. There we go, there's the Starbucks logo. How about just the word Coca-Cola? Let's see how good it is with celebrities, famous people I should say. Oh, the Trump's pretty good. That's not really, that doesn't really look like Elon. Let's try again. That's quite a lot better. So there you have it, the new Flux one. If you like this video, you'll probably like this one as well. See you next time.